I had I had three thoughts off the top of my head on this. So the first is, um, I think in addition to like how we're talking with our buyer consumers, really thinking about you know when we're taking listings as well, continuing to articulate the value of paying a buyer's agent. And like we as agents, when we are working with sellers, the sellers can still absolutely pay for a buyer's agent fee. It's just now has to be a more focused part of the conversation. Um, and I, I'm sure many of you have had the experience of working with a uh, an absentee agent on the other side or for sale by owner where the, the seller didn't have representation of any sort. You wind up having to do the work of two people and it can be a mess. And so like if you don't have a good agent on the other side, it can completely derail things. And so being able to articulate that to your sellers when we're saying, I strongly advise that we offer compensation so that we get an agent for this buyer. They're not coming in unrepresented, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So really having that side of the conversation as well, because buyer commissions only change if listing agents and their sellers change them. So that's kind of the first thought. And then along the lines of that, though, the second one is I, I think it'll be important to keep front and center to the potential adverse impact that this could have on buyers. And, you know, I think if if buyer's agent commissions really substantially changes in the future, it's going to have uh, really bad impacts on housing accessibility because high earning buyers are going to be fine. They're going to be able to pay for buyer agents that charge the highest fees, the ones that are most talented, have the best proven processes, outcomes, all that sort of stuff. But I don't know how many of you have worked with clients where they're scraping two nickels together to make their down payment and do not have any extra money for sometimes even closing costs, let alone paying a buyer's agent fee. And it's going to be those folks, if buyer's commission substantially changes, the, the cost of it goes on to the buyers paying it. Um, those are going to be the people who are going to feel it the most because they're either going to have to go with really crappy discount services or just completely forego buyer representation. So, you know, I think in the communication with consumers and the public, that's an important point to keep front and center is like, how, how does the current system help housing accessibility and how would completely changing that upend the ability of low income first time home buyers to be able to get high quality housing services. So that's the second point. And, and the, the third one too, Elias, you were talking about proven process. Um, and I was actually thinking about uh, the next step on that, which is proven outcomes as well and being able to articulate that. And I actually uh, in my newsletter this last week was uh, wrote about this and sat down and went through for the last year. And I'm, I'm not good at articulating this to clients, but I think I need to get better at it. And actually added up for all my buyers' clients, how much off of the asking price and how much in credits did I negotiate in the last year, just in 2023 so far. Um, and so far, it's $175,000 in price reductions and credits. And I'm in the process of getting that. If I if my addendum gets accepted today, that'll push over 200000 just in 2023. So for my buyers alone, I've negotiated almost $200,000 in value for them. And that's more than I took home. So when talking to someone, like what value do I bring? There it is, dollars wise, outside of service, that's it. And then the other one along those lines too, I actually just hit uh, yesterday, my, my 50th personal closing. And in my previous role as a team lead, more than 100, uh, 100 closings, including the, the junior agents that I was working with. And never in those have I ever lost someone's deposit or even gotten close to that. And so like, that's another part of articulating that to buyers of, you know, why pay a buyer's agent fee proven process. Oh, thank you for the congratulations, but um, proven process and also proven outcomes of like, what have I accomplished for my buyers during this time? And why is it worth paying me what I think I'm, you know, earn when I'm going through this process. So those are my thoughts.